This is the continuation of the previous video. A male deity, the prototype of the historic Shiva, is portrayed on a seal with three faces seated on a low throne. In the typical posture of a yogi with two animals on each side, elephant and tiger on the right, rhinoceros and buffalo on the left and the two deer standing under throne. The depiction shows Shiva as Pasupati. Some Linga and Yoni like symbols have been found. There is also evidence of tree worship in two forms. Make a note. One is the worship, the tree was worshipped in its natural form. This already we have seen and in the other it was, the uh, what was worshipped was, was not the tree but in its dwelling spread. So this we have discussed in the previous video. Uh, the worship of the nature in its natural form. The tree was worshipped in its natural form and uh, also in the dwelling spreads. A remarkable seal was found at Moganjandaro. Okay, a remarkable seal found at Moganjandaro represents a deity standing between two branches of the peepal tree. The continuance of this religion tradition is found in the scriptures of Barhut and Sanchi showing the Yakshiks and Daryads. There are mythical and composite creatures also like human faced goat or part ram or goat, part bull and a part elephant, three headed chemras, semi human, semi bovine creatures etc. A large number of fire altars have been found in the site like Gujarat, Rajasthan and Haryana. At Kalimbangan and Lothal and Banawali, a number of fire altars have been found which seems to have been used as a sacrificial altars. Make a note, this, uh, this might have been used as a sacrificial altar. Besides this, the Swastika, a sacred symbol with Hindus. Okay, swastika, uh, which is a sacred symbol with which is a sacred symbol with Hindus. Buddhist and Jaina has been depicted on seal, paintings and graffiti, etc. A large number of terracotta figurines depict the individuals in the various yogic posture, that is asanas. Thereby, it indicates that Harappan practiced yoga. Is it clear? Now let us study about the social stratification and political setup. The Harappan society seem to have been divided into three sections. Number one, elite class associated with citadel. Then number two, a well-to-do middle class and number three, a relatively weaker section occupying the lower town which were generally fortified. So the Arabian society uh, seems to have been uh, divided into three sections. One is the elite class associated with the citadel, the second one well-to-do middle class and a relatively weaker section as the third one occupying the lower towns which were generally fortified. At Kalimangan it appears that priest resides in the upper part of the citadel Okay, priest resides in the upper part of the citadel and performs rituals on the fire altars in the lower part of it. It is difficult to be sure of the kind of political setup. So, the political setup was not known exactly and not sure that was prevailed in the Harappan civilization. It may be recalled that during the first millennium BC, though the archaeological culture all over North India was almost the same, Yet the area was divided into six Maha Janapadas, each independent with its own capital. Clear? Now, the disposal of the dead. Scattered burials as well as discrete cemeteries have been found at the major sites. Obviously, cementation was also practiced. Clear? So, obviously, Cremation and uh, cremation, sorry, cremation was also practiced. This is proved by many cerearians or other receptacles containing 
calcined human bones and ashes together with the vessel offering for the use of dead person in the next life. Only certain group practiced burials. The general practice was that skeleton wall replays, uh, were placed in a extended position with the head towards north. Okay. So certain group practiced burial. The general practice was that skeleton were placed in an extended position with the head towards the north. And the earthen pots containing food grains were placed in the grave and in some cases the body was buried with ornaments. Now coming to the chronology. When the Harappan civilization was first recognized in 1920s, the date was done mainly on the basis of findings of the Harappan seal in Ur and Kish in the Mesopotamia. On the basis of the Marshall, the suggested, uh, on the basis, Marshall suggested that Harappan civilization flourished between 3250 and uh, uh, 2750 BC. But Wheeler dated it to 2500 to 1500 BC. Okay. There are two types of views. One given by the Marshall and other given by the Wheeler. And uh, it was suggested by the Marshall between 3250 to 2750. Clear. And But the Wheeler dated it to 2500 to 1500 BC. Since then, the radiocarbon dating method has been invented. On the basis of the radiocarbon dating of this civilization, it follows the following chronological pattern. That is, yearly Harappan phase flourished from 3500 to 2600. In the mature Harappan phase from 2600 to 1900, and the later often phase from 1900 to 1300. So on the whole it is covering from 3500 to 1300. So we have earlier Harappan phase mature and the late Harappan phase. Okay. Speaking the mature Harappan period, 700 year is extremely long time spanning nearly 30 generation about 1900 BC, the uniformly of the Arabian civilization weakened and regional variations started emerging. That is, the uniformity of the Arabian civilization weakened about 1900, that is the late Arabian, Arabian civilization period, and the regional variations started emerging. Clear? So, we have discussed about the chronology of the Arabian civilization here. Okay? Fine.